You cooking for a crowd? Use the fire disc and make Coney Island chili dogs. We're gonna start off just a little bit of oil. Probably the best thing to use is canola. So not to get it too hot, I've got this set on low right now just to get it simmering. We're gonna go ahead and fan it out just a little bit so it doesn't get too burnt in the middle. Give it a little bit more olive oil. Start to move it into the center. Some of the fat's rendering now. Two and a quarter cups of ketchup. That's just awesome. Four tablespoons of mustard. I like to use Dijon. Four tablespoons of brown sugar. Got about three and a half tablespoons of celery salt. Ancho chili powder. We like it a little spicy, so light it up. We have three tablespoons of cumin. Eight cloves of minced garlic, or you can run it through the microplane. Four tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Go ahead and stir this around. Get all your ingredients incorporated. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the heat to medium. And we're gonna add some water. What's that, Mark? Water also helps the seasoning get evenly distributed throughout all of the chili. And then as it simmers, the excess moisture is gonna boil up. About two and a half cups of water. The last thing I'd like to add, a little bit of our red tuxedo blend from Spiceology. All right, you're just gonna let this simmer and reduce down a bit. You're gonna wanna look for some of the liquid to dissipate, but you're still gonna wanna keep it kind of creamy and fluid. Hey, Mark, what should we do while we wait? <laughs> He'll be right back. You're gonna need some raw onions to top your dog, huh? How about some finely shredded three blend cheddar? All right, let's go ahead and make our hot dogs for our Coney Island chili dog. Take one of our hot dogs, completely done on the fire disc. The beautiful chili that we made. I'm gonna put it right over top. Look how thick and awesome this chili got. Look at that right on top and we're gonna finish with some white onions there you go mark <laughs> 